Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install the bezel project on RetroPie through your terminal. So a few months ago, I put together a step-by-step -step tutorial video on how to install the bezel project through your available packages within RetroPie setup. But over the last couple of months, they actually updated the RetroPie software and it's no longer available through the packages. So we can still get the bezel project, but we have to go ahead and add it through the terminal. So it's a super easy process. All you're going to need to get started is a Wi-Fi connection as well as a keyboard and you'll be able to get this up and running in just a couple short minutes. So let's get started. All right, so since the bezel project is no longer populating into our different uh, packages within the RetroPie setup menu, we need to actually go into our terminal and put in a couple commands in order to download the bezel project. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into our main menu. So if you have a gamepad controller, go ahead and hit your start button. It's going to pull up your main menu like this. And then we're going to go down to the last option, which says quit. We'll select that with our A button. And then we're going to go down to the second option down, which says quit emulation station. It's going to ask us if we really want to quit. We're just going to confirm it by hitting yes. So that brings us right here to our terminal and we need to put in three different commands on here now. So I'm actually going to put these commands uh, in bold, just kind of highlighted at the bottom of the screen, but I'll also include them in the description of this video so you can access them a little bit easier because the second one especially is pretty long. So what we need to do here is we need to type in the following command, which is CD space slash home slash pi pi slash retropie and i'm capitalizing the r and the p on retropie slash retropie this one's going to be all undercase menu slash and then we're going to hit uh, enter on here and now you can see that the next line becomes available and we're going to type in now w g e t space h t t p s colon slash slash raw r a w dot github user content dot com slash the bezel this is all undercase for the bezel project slash bezel this one's going to be with a capital b project capital p on project slash master slash bezel slash bezel project again all undercase dot sh and we'll go ahead and hit enter there and now we're going to type in the following command chmod space plus x and then in quotations bezel project dot sh quotations and now from here, we're just gonna restart emulation station. And in order to do that, we are going to put sudo space reboot. And we're gonna go ahead and hit enter on our keyboard. That's gonna reboot our entire system and bring us right back into RetroPie. All right, so we just rebooted our system. So what you wanna do now is you wanna jump into your configuration options page. Once you jump in here, you should see bezel project right along the uh, top of your list here. So first one for me is audio, second one down is the bezel project. So that's how we know that everything did install correctly through the terminal. So we'll just go ahead and select this just to open it up, just to make sure that everything is there and everything is looking the way it's supposed to look. So we'll go ahead and select this. It'll open up here after a couple seconds. Should give us a little page here to confirm. So we'll just go ahead and confirm this by hitting yes. And here you can see we have our main menu within the bezel project. So we can go in here and start adding bezels to our various collections within RetroPie. All right, so you can see from this video, the step-by-step -step process for adding the bezel project through the terminal on RetroPie is pretty easy. The only challenge is that second command. It just because it's a little bit long, um, takes a little while to just jot it down and get it correct every single time because that's the biggest issue that people run into with doing commands through the terminal, it's really easy to, you know, put in something wrong or, you know, do an extra slash or put a space where there isn't a space. And if you don't copy it down 100%, it's going to give you some issues. So I went ahead and added the commands, you know, on screen as we went through them, but I've also included them in the description of this video. So you can jump down there and spend a little bit more time, you know, making sure that you have it 100%. So 
And that's going to do it for this video today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here because we do a ton of different videos based around retro gaming. We do product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials like this one, and then we have the Forgotten Favorites YouTube series every single Monday and Thursday evening. So lots of great content on here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And then of course you can check us out online on our website, www.retropodguy.com. Thanks for watching.